I would like to present to you my daughter. I'm a talented boy. What's that? King Akeem, shall we join our families in marriage under one flag by uniting your bastard with my Boporto? General, as you know, I have very, very strong opinions when it comes to arranged marriages. True love is the bedrock. My king. But if this is something that Lavelle desires, who am I to stand in his way? Wait, what? Father. Lavelle, is this what you want? Yeah, I'm bad. Then it is settled. Then let us proceed. A semi-automatic shotgun wetting it will be. Agua! Remember your father's final words. The boy must pass the princely test. To forget the princely test would be to spit in the faces of the great Joffas who have come before you. Whose auntie is this? I give you a week. I wouldn't want to go back to plotting your death. Do! Does that mean leave? Yes, sir! I'll see you in one week, my prince. Hi. Father, can we talk about this? There's nothing to talk about. Nextoria is our greatest threat. To broker a peace hinging on the testosterone-clouded whims of a son you barely even know is foolish. I said there is nothing to talk about. Ceremonial circumcision. Ceremonial. I mean, they're gonna sharpen you too, nephew. Hold him. Hey, yo, you gotta restrain me. Hey, Mom, tell him we already did this. That's okay, baby. We love it here, right? Let them take a little bit off the top. These are the foreskins of your forefathers. Ew. Jaffa. Jaffa. Great, great, great grandfather. Jaffa. Jaffa. Your great grandfather. Jaffa, Jaffa. Your grandfather. And King Akim. Okay. Give it 
Ha Just completed the final princely test. The test of courage. Courage? Did I remind you I was face to face with a man eating lion? For one to put his member in danger is also a test of courage, yes? You are willing to sacrifice what is most sacred. My penis. Your pride. <sighs> Lavelle Johnson of Queens. <sighs> I hereby crown you. Prince of Zamunda. Don't use white boys. Brother, I do know smartphones. I know technology, all right? I'm well-versed in emerging trends. And I'll tell you this, too. If you hire me, I won't let you down. That's really inspiring. So, uh, just give me a chance, Mr. Duke. Oh, my God, please. My father was Mr. Duke. Uh, and my uh, grandfather and great uncle who founded Duke and Duke. But please, just call me Calvin. All right, I'm calling you Calvin. I noticed here under education that, did it say that you, you didn't graduate college? Well, yeah, see, I was three credits short from getting my uh, business degree, but then my mom got laid off. And, uh, you know, I had to uh, drop out to help with the rent. Is she addicted to drugs or? What? Does she have gambling issues or? No, man. Pops uh, in the picture or? My dad was not in the picture. Ah. You know, I went to boarding school, so there were months where I didn't see my parents, except for breaks, and uh, it can be hard. You know, I've read a lot of studies that say that not having a dominant male figure at home is so detrimental to a child. Do they say that? Yeah, they say that. Who? Scientists. Bill Nye did a... The science guy. Uh, your guy, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Do you think that not having that kind of male role model could put you at a disadvantage? No more of a disadvantage than having a father who handed you your position. Handed? I, I was not handed anything. So you're saying daddy never donated a building to get you into an Ivy League school? No. Yeah. Well, there was a small off-campus library. And daddy never had to sneak you into an overpriced Rehab facility to cover up a cocaine addiction, Calvin? It was Oxy, and my mom took me. <sighs> Kiss my ass, Calvin. Hey, you know something? You've been judging me since I walked in here. Which sucks, because I am so motivated. I, you know what, I, I just can't wait for them to find blackface photos of you from an office party. I was Will Smith's Aladdin, OK? Peace, Calvin. There was blue face over the black. Say, can you see? Much has changed in Queens. Yes, but some things have not. Floyd money and Mayweather ain't shit. He beat that Filipino boy ass. Pack of Kwondo, Pack of Mondo, whatever name is. He beat that boy ass, clan. And he beat that Michigander at Conor McGregor, the Irish. Yeah, because he had to do that for the blacks. In this political climate, black man can't be taking no ass whipping from no white man, but it caused a riot. I was ready to ride anyway. I want to give me one of them flat screen TV.